This video assumes that someone in your band has already set up your account and added data. We're going to focus on how you can access that data. And this video focuses on features available in Pro Accounts. If you haven't yet watched the video for Basic Accounts, I recommend doing that first. Besides the repertoire module to share songs and set lists, Pro Accounts have these additional modules to manage the business side of your band. Most bands with Pro Accounts are using the Schedule module, so we'll start there. You can click Calendar to see your band's events in a calendar format. You can swipe horizontally to view different months, or click the month name in the top toolbar to jump to any month. You can also click Events in the navigation menu to see all the events in a list format. In this format, you'll see shortcuts to call or email the event contact person, or open the event address in the Maps app. So this is a great page to use from your mobile phone when you're getting ready to leave for an event. From the list or the calendar, you can click an event to view its details, like the start time, pay, and any notes that have been entered. You can also see who else is included in the event. If your band leader has requested that you confirm your availability for the event, the Accept and Decline buttons at the bottom of the page will be active. Most likely you already set this by responding to an email or text message notification, but you can view or change your response here if needed. Whenever you select one of these options, Bandhelper will send a notification to your band leader. If you know in advance that you won't be available, let's say you're going on vacation, you can enter that as an event in Bandhelper. Click the plus button at the top of the events list, then enter the dates, and select an appropriate category like Vacation. Then your band leader will know to plan around these dates. Let's go back to the main menu and look at the Finance module. If your band is tracking income and expenses through Bandhelper, you can check here to see how it's adding up. The totals page is cool because it shows all the money you've earned since you joined the band, or at least since the band started tracking this. You can also see if you have any money currently owed to you, perhaps from a gig you played that you haven't been paid for yet. And if your band is using funds to track savings for a big equipment purchase or a special project, you can scroll to the bottom of this page and view the fund balances. Next, let's select Transactions in the Finance menu to see a list of all the logged transactions. Depending on how your band leader set you up, you'll either see the transactions for all your bandmates, as I see here, or just the transactions that involve you. And if you have write access, you can click a transaction to see its details. In some cases, you'll need to enter your own transactions. For example, if you pick up posters at the print shop and pay for them, you could enter that as an expense. And then your band leader can reimburse you, either specifically for this expense, or just give you a greater share of the next gig payment. Bandhelper makes it easy to track these kinds of expenses and make sure you get paid back. Back in the main menu, you can see that we have modules for contacts and stage plots. You probably won't need to work with these, but they contain features that make booking, promoting, and planning gigs easier. So if you have any doubts about adopting Bandhelper for your band, just think of all the work your band leader does and how nice it is to make some of those tasks more efficient. We just looked at the main things you'll be using in Bandhelper's Pro modules, but this video is just scratching the surface of all the functionality available. When you're ready for more, check out the Tutorials section at bandhelper.com for ways to get even more out of the app. And if you have any questions, you can click the Help icon in the top toolbar and click Request Tech Support to submit a help ticket. Thanks for watching.